How's it going, everybody? My name is Mark Riedenauer. I'm the President and Executive Director of the National Marine Electronics Association. And what I'm going to show you here is a simple NME A2000 network that you might see on a common 25-foot boat used with uh, some modern electronics from different manufacturers. So NME A2000 is based on a CAN bus system, so there'll be a central bus line, and then there'll be drops going off the bus line to various pieces of equipment. So what we have here in the front is some cables, a power injection T, and then some drop T's and terminators. Um, in the back here are just some common devices made by different manufacturers. Uh, these devices need to be NMEA 2000 certified. Uh, be careful with NMEA 2000 compliant. Um, the cables um, should be NMEA 2000 approved cables because there are different manufacturers of cables out there. Um, so where I'm going to start is just with, with the power T. So this is where you would connect to 12 volts. Um, notice that this T is an ActiSense T. There are several different um, manufacturers out there. Um, Maritron makes a, a yellow casing. Um, Garmin makes a yellow cable that would just plug in to a normal T right here. Okay, but the power T is sort of where it all starts. And notice on this one you have pretty simple black and red wiring. Um, the important thing to note is that there are two red wires on here, positive, and two black wires on here, negative. Um, the way it's set up is that power will travel down this way on the network and power will travel down that way on the network. So the power T is, is very important. That's really a good place to start. Um, over here is a typical backbone cable. This one's made by Maritron. There are several manufacturers. This one's a Garmin backbone cable. This is a ActiSense backbone cable. And the nice thing about it is NME 2000 has common connectors. It's a five pin device net that's used in many different industries. It's waterproof, it's robust. Um, so there's a male and a female end, as you can see. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to build a simple network. We're not going to power anything up, but we're going to start with our power T. And we are going to affix to it another T. And it thread locks together, like so. Now we'll assume that this is the end of our network and the power is only going to be going this way. And what I have here is a termination resistor. This is, happens to be a male termination resistor, which would connect into a female end on the T. So the termination resistors are very important and they need to be placed at each end of the network. So on any given network, Depending on size, there's two termination resistors, one at either end. As I start to build the network, I'm going to take a male end into a female end, fix it into the T. It's keyed, so it only goes in one way. I'm going to sock it down. So now we're starting our bus. We have our terminator. We have our power tap T, the wire coming off. We have a T here ready for a drop cable to a device. We then have the enemy A2000 backbone running down and I'm going to insert another T, twist it on, I'm going to grab another backbone cable, Fix it in, and you notice here that I'm taking different manufacturers' cables and connecting them because the cabling system is common. These cables are NMEA 2000 approved cables and connectors. Now over here, what I'm going to put on, this is made by ActiSense, but there's several manufacturers that make them. This is a four-way T, so basically the, um, this allows for four drops to four devices in a tight location. So let's say if I was in a center console boat 
and we were connecting a small simple network you could run a power T into here and have your four drops terminator terminator and you're basically done but for sake of illustration I'm just gonna run it out um, one more and then we'll and then we'll start connecting some devices so I'm gonna connect in here continue the backbone and then here I'm gonna put on one more T all right twist that till I know it's gonna lock twist it in and then here is where I'm going to put on the termination resistor because this is going to be the end of my network so here put the termination resistor on twist it and I'm good so basically what I've done is we have our NMEA 2000 backbone envision this snaking through the boat you may not see it um, we have our power T um, we have some drop T's here that we will connect devices to. Here's the four-way single drop. Um, and we have a termination resistor on this end of the network. We have a termination resistor on this end of the network. This is where we're going to connect to 12 volts. And remember, different manufacturers, the wiring colors are different. So check the specifications and check the wiring colors for positive and negative 12 volts. Okay, so now that we have our backbone set up, um, I'm going to take a display, for instance, this is a Garmin display, multifunction. On the back of the display, there's a mating NMEA 2000 connector. I am going to plug in the NMEA 2000 cable into it, and twist. And then I'm going to take the cable and I'm going to plug it in to one of the drop, drop tees that I created. So now we're starting to build out the network. We have a multifunction display. Some smaller displays and smaller devices will grab power from the NMEA 2000 network, but a larger display, like here, will uh, need separate 12 volt power. Okay. Um, so what I'll do here is again, I would connect in to the back of the unit, and then connect in to the drop that I created, okay? Compass, same thing. Let's utilize this four-way. So we would go into the four-way here, twist it on, onto the compass. And again, for sake of illustration here, we're on a table, but if you were in a boat, you'd be running some longer wires. Um, and, and actually mounting this stuff down. So we have a display connected, we have another display, we have uh, a compass connected, another common uh, connection is an NMEA 2000 transducer for depth, speed, and temperature. So I'll connect that in to the network, and again, it's to twist all the way up. And for instance, here is a, a GPS antenna. Um, so GPS antenna would have the same thing, twist lock. In this case, the GPS antenna would get power from the enemy A2000 network because it doesn't draw much. Um, and I can go into this four-way T, twist it on. And then I'll just connect up this display. So you can see these four ways are, uh, are quite useful, especially if you um, don't want to run a lot of cable and if you have a small space where you're going in. So connect that here, connect that at the back of the display. All right, so what we have here, I just built up a simple um, NMEA 2000 network that you might see on a smaller size boat, maybe 20, 25 feet. You have a multifunction display, um, you have a GPS antenna, you may have an electronic compass, and you're probably going to have some sort of depth, speed, and water temperature readout. Um, you also might have you know, another small um, you know, display to read out engine data, wind data, if you were to install like a wind instrument, for instance. So we have our NMEA 2000 backbone, terminators at either end, 
our power T, a spare drop here um, for diagnostic purposes, if there was something going wrong or if you wanted to add something to the network at any time, you can plug in. Um, and then we have our T's with our drops to devices. So here's our drop to a display. Here's our drop on the four-way to a GPS antenna, drop on the four-way to a display, drop on the four-way to a compass. And then down at the end of the network, we have a drop here down to a, a transducer. So there you have it, folks. Uh, it's a simple Enemy A2000 network. Um, and uh, for more information, you can visit NMEA.org or... Um, if you get over your head, if you're doing this by yourself, you can visit a NMEA dealer or find one in your area that uh, really can help and diagnose and set up a, uh, an intricate system for you. Thanks a lot.